we're going to do multiplying of decimals using the area method. Woo! So we're multiplying 2.753 times 7. So I'm going to draw myself an area model. I just need to have one row. Nice neat row. I divide it into four columns because I have four digits in my biggest number and seven in my multiplier. So I have two ones or ones. I have seven tenths. I want to see this in the fraction form, not the long word, please. Five hundredths and three thousandths. You'll notice I've kind of started to line them up a little bit. That'll make sense in a moment. Now I just need to do some simple multiplication. Seven times two gives me 14. None of us need our multiplication chart for that. Seven times seven is 49 tenths. Seven times five is 35 hundredths. And seven times three gives me 21 thousandths. Now I wanna be really clear how I write this and I don't wanna forget my place value. So I'm gonna keep with my fraction theme to keep it really, really, really clear. And I'm lining it up. Watch how I do this. I have 14 ones. My one is under the ones column in the numerator and denominator. I have 49 tenths. They line up again. I have 35 hundredths. My place value is lining up. And I have 21 thousandths. Guess what's lining up there? Now I'm going to add those numbers together. I know one of the reasons I did this lining up is with one, there's my decimal, there's my decimal, there's my decimal, there would be my decimal. So I have 14 ones, so 14 in front of my decimal, plus 4.9, that means my decimal is going to be here, I have four ones and nine tenths, 49 tenths is 4.9, four ones and nine tenths, plus 35 hundredths, so I have zero holes, three tenths, five hundredths, 35 hundredths is three tenths and five tenths, sorry, three tenths and five hundredths, plus, remember, see how my fraction helps me get my decimal place in the correct place, my place values are all beautiful, and now this is just old school area model multiplication, so I'm going to say it is um, 14, Keep my decimal place there, plus 4.9, sorry, oh my goodness, Miss Kentop, start that again, it's fine if you do that and get confused, start over again to get it right. 14, I'm using my blocks now to keep it really clear, plus 4.9, remember from our adding we have to keep everything vertical and line up by the decimal place, plus 0 0.35, plus 0 0.021. So 14 ones, 4.9 or 49 tenths, 35 hundredths and 21 thousandths. Draw my line. Remember, I've lined it up vertically. I've lined it up with the decimal place. I've made sure I'm using the right operator. Still have to put in my zero placeholders. This way, see how I can use my grids to keep me straight. So keep it small and tidy. And then I'm just gonna add it all up. Simple everyday addition. Zero plus zero plus zero equals one. Zero plus zero plus five plus two equals seven. Zero plus nine is nine plus three gives me 12 plus zero is still 12. So I've got two here and I'm going to carry that number over. So I've got the extra one from my 12 over there. Next, I make sure I put my decimal place in. Got to do the next column, don't I? So then one plus four is five plus another four is nine, plus one gives me 19.271. 19 ones, two tenths, seven um, hundredths, and one thousandth. Now, that's dandy, but let's double check that I know what I'm talking about, shall we? Let's do our straight number work. I had 2.753 times seven. I'm going to multiply my seven times my three and get 21. Carry an extra two that I need to add to seven times five is 35 plus two is 37. And I bring that three, the three tens over there. Seven times seven, remember was 49. 
plus the extra three that I had, so 49, 50, 51, 52. I've added those extra three, 52. And then I add the tens here, seven plus, times two is 14, plus the five, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19. Now, I need to know where my decimal place goes. To know that, I need to make sure all the place values that were behind the decimal are preserved in here. I've got to protect the real value. So there's no nothing behind the seven, but there were one, two, three decimal places behind the decimal place in this one. So three place values behind that decimal place. So in my final answer, I'm going to go one, two, three, and put my decimal place here. So by doing my number work, I find the answer is 19.271, which matches 19.271. How clever I got it right. I hope that makes it clear. I really like writing things in my fraction form to get my decimal place right. And remember, those are tenths, hundreds, and thousands.